it's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, the University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Farrah Grant, who is an instructor for UNO's Department of Geography and Geology. So Farrah, today's question is, what are small steps I can take to preserve our environment that don't disrupt my everyday life? Thank you for that question, Brandon. I'm happy to answer that. Um, I would suggest strategies in three different areas, and those would be transportation, food, and habitat. So in transportation, if you can, switch a trip every now and then. So instead of driving, um, go, go for a walk, take your bike, or ride the bus if that's an option to you. All of these are going to reduce the amount of uh, emissions from your driving. And when you're uh, saving on driving, it's also saving you gas money and it's gonna improve air quality. So one of our service learning projects dealt with an air quality awareness program, specifically around ground level ozone. And so the less that you're driving, the less ground level ozone that's produced and the better the air quality is for us. Um, and two, when you spend time outdoors, it has mental health and physical health benefits as well. And then under food, I suggest seeking out and buying products from producers that use regenerative practices. So buying local is gonna reduce the number of food miles that it takes for the food to get to you. So that saves energy and resources. And also by supporting these regenerative practices, you're gonna improve the local soil quality and also water quality. And then it's also gonna connect you with your community and help infuse uh, money into the local economy. And I think when you're more connected with your community, you have greater appreciation for all that it takes to get that food to your table. And when you really appreciate that food, you're less likely to waste it. And that brings me to my next point, and that's reducing food waste. And so when food decomposes in a landfill in the absence of oxygen, it produces a powerful greenhouse gas called methane. And so anything that we can do to reduce the amount of food in landfills is going to reduce those greenhouse gases. And so I suggest things like meal planning, um, you know, throwing things in the freezer if they're starting to get close. Um, also, you can use your nose and don't necessarily always go by the use by or sell by dates. If it smells okay, it's likely still okay, um, sometimes with the exceptions of dairy or meat products. Um, and then another thing too, if you do have some leftover eggshells or coffee grounds or banana peels, start a compost pile and then you'll have a nutritious um, content to put in your garden. And then finally in habitat, plant species that are native to our location and they'll support birds and the local pollinators. And you can also practice what's called ungardening. So basically leave the leaves, um, delay your cleanups until well into spring like April. That debris allows um, the insects that are hibernating to make it through until spring. And then also another thing you can do is simply stop mowing and see what pops up. But my advice is just pick one thing and then pick one other thing and build from there. For more information, you can go to unomaha.edu backslash sustainability. Well, thank you, Farah, for sharing your expertise on the topic. For our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts. So if you have a question that you want answered, go to newschannelnebraska.com and click on the Access the Experts link. We'll see you next time. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.